had um, two goes at this hill with in low range second gear rear tires at 14 the rest down at 10 and uh, even with the diff locks on we haven't managed to get to the top here so we've just spent a bit of time smoothing the track out and as you can see up the top there when he's getting ready to be able to film it so um, we'll have a look and see how we go wish us luck <laughs> Okay, here's go number three. Oh dear, I think it might be time for bog mats. So close yet, so far, gonna have to just back down, see if we can have one more go at that. If not, it'll be bog mats. Just backing down too a couple of times we've found it helps to smooth maybe even compact the track a bit. I don't really want to be letting the tyres down much more than what they are. As it is, the walls are very vulnerable. Okay. Okay, the bog mats are in position. Let's see how much further we can get. Max tracks, let's see how we go. Not much to go.
Okay, take two with the bog mats. everyone. Michael and Wendy from Ultimate Campers and here we are where we were five weeks ago at Camp 16 on the Madigan Line Hay River track uh, and Wendy's just signed the book for us again mm -hmm. um, and we're about to instead of like last time we did the Hay River track where we're heading north so we've just come off the Madigan Line at Camp 15, we've travelled down here to Camp 16 and we're about to head due east, that direction. Mm. Um, so I gotta tell you, we're really pleased to be on a, a track that lets you go faster than 10 kilometers per hour. The whoop de doos on the Madigan line uh, have been uh, pretty trying on the old patients, haven't they? Yep. Yep. Um, but nonetheless, uh, been able to do 20 kilometres or even 30 kilometres per hour on occasion is an absolute luxury compared to that. We'll oh. see. Oh, I've got to say, the car and camper have performed beautifully. As we'd expect. As we'd expect. But how about the good driving? Oh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> and the navigations. We oh. haven't we haven't been lost for Couple at least days. What, yeah, <laughs> two days. <laughs> yeah. So we're not doing too bad there either. Mm. But we're still not in Birdsville. Uh, so uh, let's see how we go for the next uh, night or two out. Yep. Uh, today is day four for us. So we've had three nights out. Uh, we reckon we could probably... Uh, get to Birdsville in the dark tonight, but I think we'll still be camping in our last desert camp mm. tonight uh, we'll Somewhere see. around uh, 18, 18 or 19. 19 or something. We'll see how the track goes Okay, signing out. Thumbs up. Bye <laughs>
Annandale Ruins. Um, Just past Camp 21 on the Madigan. Yeah, and a uh, pretty sad story goes with this place. Uh, another outback tragedy, something that we'll be researching further down the line, but uh, what's left now it's purely just ruins. It was a pretty, uh, a pretty large sort of facility by the look of it, a homestead where they've got, um, you know, major a house that was built up here on the left, big chimneys. Looks like you know, big uh, bake house up there, or, um, cook house. Um, and yards, lots of yards. Yep, and just behind us here uh, looks like a big steam-driven uh, tractor. Um, so, uh, you know, who knows what that story is. We're going to look into it ourselves and find out. We've heard something along the lines of, well, we'll look into it and we'll perhaps post it later. So, uh, from what we understand now, what we've got in front of us, if we keep heading south along Air Creek and we get back onto the QAA French line and then we head due east on that. Now, five weeks ago, we came across uh, from Birdsville on the QAA French line heading west. And even though those dunes are steeper coming from uh, the east coast heading west, um, they were in pretty good order. But the other side was chopped up something terrible with huge sand moguls. So that's what we've got to look forward to, uh, about 30 of those dunes before we get back to Big Red. Hopefully they've been smoothed out a bit. Uh, even mm. though it was only a week ago was the... Uh, Big Red Bash. Yeah, mm. so, well, we're soon going to find out and we'll get a little bit of video and commentary as we go. Okay. Thumbs up and signing out. Well, we've just arrived at the T-section on the French line, the QAA after coming down following Air Creek on the end of the Madigan. So I guess that is the end of the Madigan. Hey, when? Mm -hmm. So when we were coming over the, uh, the Simpson from Big Red heading west, we found the dunes pretty good on the eastern side. Uh, that was us going up at that point. But then going down, we went down very slowly. Because of the big moguls that would really been dug up. So now we're about to go west east. To east. <laughs> up the really dug up section. So let's see how we go. We have had a lot of practice just lately, haven't we, on the Madigan <laughs> line? Have. So here we go. Okay, we're filming. So, what we've found so far is that uh, most of these dunes, they, they might be a bit longer and they might be dug up uh, with you know, a fair few moguls, but the sand is a lot firmer. So it's quite easy to travel up just uh, second gear low range without knocking gear around. Land cruiser cresting June heading east. That's it, good thing. We were heading west, we got confused last time, now we're going back this way. <laughs> <laughs> 
So as you can see, you know, like it's uh, a little bit choppy. Oh, oh that bit was. Um, but the traction at 15 PSI on those rear tyres and 10 all around the rest is pretty darn good. Just approaching uh, Big Red, um, and uh, we're going to take the track on the right. Um, pretty interesting in that about five weeks ago, this is where we started our off road trip, and now Big Red's where we're going to be finishing it. So, you see, there's a multitude of tracks there. We'll take the one on the right and see how it goes. One, two, three, four and a half, five, six, seven tracks up there. Yes, quite a few. There it is, isn't there? Yep. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. We haven't been across Big Red this way before, and there's even one up there. Well, not with a camper trailer on, not with an ultimate. We've been up the other side many, many times, but um, not this side. So. So let's see if we can just waddle up there. You've got the front camera. That one, the Osmo. Yep. Yep. Sure hope so, otherwise we have to come back down and do it again. Up, 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 up we go, up we go. All seems pretty firm so far. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Looking good. Bit. 